a researcher in the Behaviour and Health Research Unit at the University of Cambridge. We heavily invested in this review because, you know, it took us three and a half years. It is a big, complicated review. Once we've done the searching, you know, and got the studies, we end up with uh, a review that currently fully integrates 72 randomised controlled trials. And what we find is, well, when you put more food in front of people, uh, they eat more. And we find other things in relation to tobacco, but there's very limited evidence there. So mainly what we're finding is that we can't say much and there's zero evidence in relation to alcohol that met our eligibility criteria. It might have seemed obvious, but previously, you know, the evidence was in small studies that were fragmented across the literature. We combined that and we used the power of combining uh, the studies to say, right, okay, now the answer's in. We got the Guardian. We ended up in like the Kathmandu Times and you know all these kinds of things. We're in the top 0.1% of articles ever rated by Altmetric um, across science. What we really want is to start a conversation. Are smaller plates and cutlery one way to tackle obesity? And should schools and We want to reach a range of audiences, policymakers primarily. People who want to advocate for policies, such as NGOs and uh, also, you know, the sort of public health advisory bodies. But we've got an article coming out that does the policy options piece that says, you know, okay, given this finding, you know, what are the range of interventions that could try and actually reduce the amount of food and drink that ends up in front of people on their plates and in their glasses.